In this video I will show you how to use the Jen Grisanti story template for Scrivener. Hi everyone, it's Pila from the Writer's Territory and in this video I'll show you the Jen Grisanti story template for Scrivener. If you haven't done so already, go to my website to download it, the link is down below in the description. And once you have the file, you will see that it is a zipped file, so you just have to double click it to unpack it. And then you get this Scrivener template file. Then go over to Scrivener and in this open dialog where you can see all the templates, go to Options, Import Templates and choose the file you just unzipped and click Import. Now it says override template because I have it already imported. If you import it, you will see it either here in the all section, you see that it has a, a logo, or you can go to the script writing section and you will see it here, Jen Grisanti story template. Okay, just select it, click create, choose a name if you like. When it opens up, it shows you this how to use this template page. What you see here is basically what we are going to go through in this video. So you can refer to this document anytime you want to go back and see what the template really does. In case you don't know Jen Grisanti, she is a story and script consultant with a lot of experience working in the TV world and she also gives seminars about how to write for television. I've been through one of her seminars myself and it really helped me to elevate my writing to a new level. So, in case you want to check out her website, I also put the link down below in the description. Some things in this template will make more sense to you once you've gone through her courses and know her development system. But anyway, let's just see what this template does. Here on the left in the binder, you have two general documents that I like to put into my templates. It's a notes document and a master idealist. You can also refer to those documents here in the bookmarks. Then you have your development documents. Let's go through all of these. This is for your series logline. And also if you take a look at the notes section, it gives you a short reminder of what this document is about. Now this is for the series logline. Then you have one document for the pilot logline, for your internal logline, for the external go of your A story, for your internal story, for your external and internal stakes arc, and for your B story arc. Then if you take a look at the draft folder, here we have what I call ACT documents. Those are the teaser and ACT 1 through 5. And they are indicated by this little waypoint flag. And in these ACT documents, you can basically put what you like in terms of notes. It can be an outline, it can be some form of a treatment. Anything that you think is important for you to develop this part of the story, this ACT. Okay. And also in the notes section, you, again, you have a reminder of what should happen in each one of those acts. Also, if you take a look at the synopsis, here you have a place to put your series trigger and series dilemma, so you can keep track of those as well. So you basically go through these act documents, and in each act in the editor, you put your content, your notes, whatever, and in the synopsis, you put your main story points, act points for this act, and you just go through these. Also in each act document, one level underneath, you have a script document. This script document is where you put your actual script pages, and they will automatically be formatted as screenplay by Scrivener. Then you also have the research folder, a characters folder, a places folder, and a front matter folder. This front matter folder holds several title pages depending on what you want to export or compile out of the project. We'll take a look at that in a second. And then in the templates folder, you find a template for your acts and for your script files. And also you have a template for your character arc formula that can help you develop your characters. It's good as a best practice if you create new documents to take them from the templates folder because they have already all the settings that you need to compile. Okay, let's take a look at what kind of documents you can export. 
In order to show you what the compiler does, I have now pre-filled the ACT document with some sample text, so we can take a look at the export. If you want to compile, go to File, Compile, and then take a look at the project formats. Those three formats are what is saved with the template and you can export them very easily. The rest of it, my formats and Scrivener formats, are formats that come with Scrivener or that are your personal formats. So first up, our outline treatment. What this does is it exports the content and the titles of your ACT documents. And it also puts a title page at the front. I'm going to export this as a PDF. Let's see how that looks like. You see it has a title page. You can change everything on the title page in the front matter folder in the document for outline and treatment export. And then it has the title and the content of each act document. And it puts each of the acts on a separate page. In case you do not want that, if you want all the acts without page breaks, you click Assign Section Layouts and then you see for Act Documents, for Act Section Types, New Page Heading and Text is selected. If you don't want a page break, just select this one, Text Section with Heading, click OK. Let's compile again. And now you see you have a title, the content, and the next act follows without a page break. Now in order to show you the script export, I have pre-filled those script documents with some sample text just to show you how that works. If you want to export your script, go to File, Compile again and then choose screenplay. And now you see it changes the title page. You will have a screenplay title page. Let's take a look. You just hit compile, export, I'm gonna replace in this case. And then you see you have the screenplay title page followed by your script. Now what the compiler does here is just string together all the scenes or let's say all your script documents. So you don't have to worry about working in different script documents for each act because the compiler is going to string them together anyway. Now there is a third document that you can export. Let's have a look, go to the compiler. And now select synopsis. This is going to export all of your synopsis. And it looks like this. Again, you have a different title page, so you can put something else on this page if you want. And then you have an output of all your synopsis content, which are the, the basic elements of your story. So this can give you a good overview of each of the acts if you hit the story points. And remember, this is Scrivener. So although this is a template with preset settings, you can change anything you like. Scrivener is completely open, so you have no restrictions at all. If you know your way around a little bit, you can change things. I hope this template helps you develop your television scripts. And I hope this helps you to get the amazing stories you have inside of you out on the page and of course then on the screen.